welcome to my channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell too so you'll be notified on when I upload a new video so today we are going to do a wig review on a V part wig I am so excited because I have never had a V part wig before so this is my first one and I'm so excited to try it um I did like research on YouTube a few videos and I think I'm going to really like it so this hair is from Eunice hair so I'm gonna show you guys before we get started just the box so Eunice hair or you nice hair however you want to say it and this is my wig right here so this is a 22 inch curly wig and I will get closer so you guys can see like the details of the wig there are combs all up in it but the reason why I'm so excited to try this wig is because it is a V part and it's not a thick part so like with U parts um, I used to wear U parts all the time I used to make my U parts where the parting is it was so thick back then it was thick and my hair is very very fine so when I had those thick parts I had to leave like more hair out so it will cover that weft and this one is really thin so I'm gonna get close so you guys can see it real quick okay so this is the inside of the wig we have a bunch of cones the top on the side and at the bottom but what I want to show you guys is how thin this like part is right here so this is a V part as you can see it's shaped like a V but I love it because ah, focus it is super thin so like when you had U parts it was super thick um, it was like a weft right here but now it's like really thin and way easier to blend hair with when you're leaving some hair out okay so the claims for a V part wig is that you don't have to leave any of your hair out um, you can literally just part your hair and put it on but since my hair is so thin Thin, not thin, it's so fine. I want to leave a little bit of leave out out. So that's what I have up here. Um, I left this much leave out out, which is really, really <laughs> a little to me because y'all, I used to like with you part wigs, I used to have to leave so much more leave out out. But I want to show you guys my braid pattern real quick because I don't know how to cornrow. Um, so I just kind of like plaited my hair. In different ways but I did kind of want like an anchor braid at the top so I'm going to show you how I achieve the anchor braid at the top without corner so here is one side so up here it looks like I kind of have a cornrow going on but all I did was part my hair three times so one two and three and did three plaits and then I just kind of you know braided it in with the rest of my hair so my hair is still wet I just washed it so I did braid my hair in this style when it was wet. Here's the other side. Um, this side's a little bit thicker. I'm gonna have to take some hair out and make them smaller, but I want to go ahead and record this video. So that is my braiding pattern. Okay, so like I said, I did, you know, make the little anchor braid. This looks so funny. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and put this on. Um, I need to get my mirror. Um, because I have never tried this. I am going to go ahead and adjust the straps at the bottom because y'all I really feel like I have a big head but then when I get wigs it's like I don't have a big head so I'm kind of confused. I don't know but I always have to end up adjusting the straps so I did that and I'm going to get my mirror real quick so I can see what I don't have my mirror and now I'm all set. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my head. All right, so I think I'm gonna start over here. Just clamping it on. So like I said, you can wear this without leave out, but I am going to wear it with a tiny bit of leave out. Like y'all saw how much I had was such a small amount okay so I got it on and I am going to do a middle part today I don't do that many middle parts but we're gonna do that today so this is what it's looking like that was super easy to put on oh I didn't do the back one 
Do I need to do the back? Alright. So. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm going to take the comb. Make sure that this part is adjusted. So put the comb in on the side. Now I will say it does feel a little loose. Like I'm used to more security. I actually don't have a big head oh my gosh because i have a lot of space in this way so okay so this is what it's looking like i'm going to go ahead and style it um i have my flat iron now i will say if i had time i would use my perm rise to curl my hair to curl my leave out but for the sake of the video and time I am just going to use heat today. I already put heat protective on my hair. So I'm just going to use heat today to blend my hair with it um, and uh, style it that way because I don't have the time. But when I go to bed tonight, I will definitely be putting perm rods in it to blend it. So usually I only have to put heat on it if I'm in a hurry to go somewhere or like last minute but other than that I use perm rods so I'm gonna go ahead and style it and I'll be back okay so this is not the final look as much as I don't like putting heat on my hair I had to put I had to run my hair through the flat iron first before I use this curling one because my hair y'all I like the middle part it's not used to um, humidity like in being out so it's always like I always have a side part or like I do the flip over method. So it is raining in Atlanta right now and it's like humid. Like it's been raining all day. I think it it might have been raining yesterday. But y'all, I'm going somewhere tonight and I can't stand the risk of my hair getting frizzy. So that's why I am over here putting a double heat on it. Um, but I did use heat protective. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, y'all this. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Let me, let me get close real quick. Okay. Look at this. So, okay. Please focus. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I cannot do a straight part to save my life. So this is what it looks like when you put it in. So we'll put it on. So you see how thin this is? It's super thin which is amazing. And y'all, I don't have that much leave out. Like look how thin this is. It's super thin, a tiny bit of leave out. And then when I put it over it, will you please focus, thank you. Look at that. You can't see anything. Wow. Okay, I'm super excited now. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend th these curls in with some of these curls and we're gonna see how it looks. All right, you guys, so I have blended my hair, which was amazing. Um, the camera died while I was doing that part, but this is what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna show y'all closer. All right, so yeah, you did not have to leave a lot of hair out at all. It blends perfectly. Oh, Jesus, I don't know what's going on back there, but it blends very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and lay my hair down in the front with some edge control. Um, this is Edge Fixer Glue and my edge brush. I'm just gonna lay this part down really quickly. And then I think I'm gonna use my little, I don't know what this is called. I'll get, some, I'll get back to this in a second. Let me do this part first, cause I get distracted. I'm just gonna put some edge control in the front here. Um, you know it's hard to do this with this mirror on and I feel like it's really dark in my room right now because it's so the weather's weird outside but yeah do that side and then put some here Kind of 
like a little messy look at the top. I didn't want it to be like perfect, perfect. Yeah, I really want to try the side part now because this middle part is pretty cute. But I want to see what it will look like on the side. Um, I am going to use, what is this called? I used to use this so much when I did my hair in college. Um, it's like a razor shaper thing. But I like to use it to frame my face. So I take a little bit of the hair in the front and I just go like this and it cuts some of the hair off. So just like a tiny bit, however much you want. I like to smart small, start small first and then work my way and pray I'm not cutting my real hair. <laughs> but just to like frame my face some. Um, because I'm not used to like middle parts covering my whole face. Hence why I keep putting the hair behind me, like on one side, because it's just a lot, it's just a lot, okay? All right, y'all, this is so cute. I'm definitely going to uh, try it as a side part as well, because y'all know I love like hair on the side. And the parting thing is a lot for me to get used to because I always wear like flip over when I make my waves. I do the flip over method. And so I usually don't have a part. So now that I have a part, it's a little different for me, but I do like being able to see my scalp, you know? And I think this is cute. And also when I was like um, playing with my hair, you can take it like if you wanted to put it down and like clip it back, you can, because y'all, like I said, this part, the parting part, whatever you want to call it, is so thin that you can literally just slick it straight back down. So I absolutely love this. I am a fan of V-part wigs and I'm gonna get some more so you guys can see. Um, I wanna get a longer curly one and a like body wave one and see how that goes. I think that'll be really cute. And also you don't have to braid your hair to put this on. Um, I see people like do two, like part their hair and do two pigtails back. Um, but I couldn't do that just because my hair is so fine. I kind of needed it, needed it. I kind of needed like an anchor braid or something for the comb to attach to. So if I just put it on, you know, on my hair, it's going to slide. It probably wouldn't slide that much, but I just like the fact that I have like, you know, like a little anchor braid going on or something. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to leave all the specs and all the details below this wig. Please let me know how you like it. Um, this is my first time trying a U-part. If you have tried a U-part, let me know how you like it. I think it is bomb. I'm definitely gonna be wearing these for now on. Um, well, most of the time. And yeah, so if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye, you guys.